everybody. My name is Carissa. I am a singer and actress, a voiceover artist. I have two degrees in music and I am going to be live reacting to a video that Miss Trinquisitor sent me. Um, I know she did not ask me to live react to this, but I wanted to see this Suyong video all the way through. Um, as you guys know, uh, if you've been on the channel for a while, you know that I reacted to Suyong singing Amazing Grace and I absolutely loved it. Um, I really love Suyong's voice. I love her emotion. Her story is real neat too. Um, but I'm very curious to see this, this full video of her singing. Uh, I think it's If I Ain't Got You or some other Alicia Keys song, uh, with a bunch of awesome backup vocal singers. So let's, let's, uh, take a look and see what we can find in this song vocally. If I Ain't Got You. Cool. I got it right. I love how bright and shiny her voice is. Also, I think this is in a different key, question mark. Like, I think she might have raised the key. It's absolutely gorgeous, and her voice is so pretty. Gosh, she rocks so much. Some people live for a fortune. Some people live just for the fame Some people live for the power, yeah Some people live just to play the game Beautiful Some people think that the physical things define Ooh. what's within I love her vowel shape on fine. It was so pretty and so bright and so forward. And then she kind of fine and then used the diphthong. Diphthong means two vowel shapes next to each other. Used the diphthong to uh, create a really cool um, melt out of the first vowel shape. And then I've been there before that life support so full. The superficial. Some people want it all. I don't want nothing at all. If they let you, baby. If I got you, baby. Some people want the race. Some just want everything. Let's talk about that. So she goes into, I believe, some kind of belt in the chorus. I don't know if it's a full chest belt. I think it might be some kind of like mixed belt of some kind. Um, but some just goes into a head voice and then comes back into a chest voice, which I think is really smart because it takes the pressurized sound. Uh, it, it gives a little variety from the pressurized sound that we've been hearing through the course. Pressurized, by the way, is not a bad thing. Um, pressurized meaning that there is more excitement and forward movement and there's more of a, um, it's more bright and it's more chest mix. Like there's more chest voice in it. And everything is nothing if I ain't got you. So pretty. Some people serve for a fountain so pretty promises forever yeah. mm. on the word young young using the uh, it's a, a, almost like a closed vowel shape yeah and then she like tamps down on the ng uh which makes it sound a lot more bluesy i guess a lot more gospel-y um it's really pretty. I really liked that choice a lot. That was really cool. Some people need three times Like Alicia Keys' voice on Roses sounds a lot more like round and soulful. Sue Young sounds like a Disney princess doing that run. I mean, it's so pretty. Some people need three times That's so pretty. 
Like it's it's so bright and forward and it always moves forward. It's it's just really really gorgeous. So pretty. That's the only way to prove in love them. Now you notice her vowel shape on them. It's love them, them. It's not them or them. It's them. Like her mouth is like wide open on them. Let's watch that. That's the only way to prove in love them. Like she goes to that full tilt kind of sound. And I'm noticing Soo Young when she wants to create a little bit more vibrancy, like she really, really opens up to make that happen uh, with her vowel shape. Pretty. On a, on a head voice platter. Oh, girl, yes. Girl. Woo! I want to hear that again. Oh, that was so heckin' pretty. Like she goes from like a a mixy belt into a more circular vowel shape and that's what makes it sound so beautiful is that she's using kind of she's tamping down the sound by going na wan and then she goes to ooh who truly cares and because that vowel shape does have a lot of space in it it sounds so much more impressive and it is so much more impressive because it does go to that that different place. And, and it shows so much of her versatility as a singer. Girl. They all agree exactly what they're doing on some just like their their articulation of the rhythm in that spot makes that background vocal sound so much more interesting and so much more professional. Let's listen to it again. Again, goes to a really, really specific vowel shape that's more rounded, and that shows off after she's been belting, you know, belting McBelt face for the past however many measures, comes back in with this just like clear, beautiful bell tone just over this ostinato, I don't know, do 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 do, arpeggiated sound. It's so pretty. Oh! Let's look at her face when she's doing that. She's not showing that she's doing a super pure vowel shape. She's compressing it still. That vowel shape in particular, it's like she's, she's, you can tell her, her cheekbones are up. 
Like, it, it's almost like this kind of smile, like that kind of thing. And I think that helps to create maybe a little bit more of a bright sound, but it's just so, so pretty. It's so pretty. But it's it's not something, like, you, you would hear that sound, and that's not the face you would think that would be making the sound. You would, I would think it would be more of an ooh, but it's It's like a small little compacted thing. It's really pretty. Then she goes more to the ooh towards the end. Gosh. Last vowel shape is an oo with an e tongue shape. I'm gonna show you what that 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 is. That it's not an oo. It's not a pure oo. I think the tongue is more forward in that. That thing. Which I think is really fascinating how she's she's always keeping the sound very pretty, very forward, very sparkly, which really just suits her voice really well. I mean, it's very clear she knows how to use her instrument um, and uses vowel shapes and positionings that just make her voice absolutely sparkle. I mean, it's so gorgeous to listen to a singer like this just lean into what their voice already how it wants to move and how it wants to traverse different lines it's just beautiful <laughs> the car horns that's so cool yeah that's i mean that's just an incredible singer that's a, a beautiful beautiful singer beautiful beautiful singer um beautiful song obviously this is in a different language than her for than her uh, language that she normally speaks. If I was asked to sing a song in Korean or Japanese or Mandarin, I probably would, you know, round out some of the vowels or, or change some things and 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 kind of you know mess mess up the language. I I probably would be horrible at it. Um, but yeah, you can hear you can hear the accent here. It's very clear that she's done a lot of like listening to it to kind of understand what the the sounds of the words are um but uh, you can still hear that accent in there this is just a a lovely example of what she can do and i'm sure many many people have asked her to cover this song in particular because it is just such a, a diva standard um and she does a great job on it i you know if i were gonna dock her points it would be for for the fact that maybe the the corners of the american sound the cornerstones aren't there all the way but this is a lovely video with a lovely singer and uh lovely backup singers really really fun really cool video thank you miss trinquisitor for sending this in and uh showing me yet another video of Young doing what she does so well um thank you appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next video